Hey everybody, today I'm going to cook an entire moose tenderloin. This is from a moose that I got in Alberta. Show the picture now. And I've cooked a lot of the backstrap steaks out of it and this is the first attempt at cooking tenderloin number one. So a few years ago I shot a water buffalo in Texas. That's a story for another time. But I was able to test a lot of different cooking methods on that on that animal, I got a lot of meat out of it. But one of the best ways that I found on cooking the tenderloin off of that was smoking it and then doing basically reverse sear. And it's a pretty popular method for cooking tenderloin. So what I'll essentially do is prep the tenderloin, get the smoker going. It's a Camp Chef smoke vault, 24 inch one. I'm going to get it up to about 225 degrees and cook this until it gets to about 130 degrees internal temperature pull it off, wrap it for about 10 minutes, and then get a cast iron skillet, nice and hot, then go ahead and sear it, and then it'll be ready to eat. As far as prep goes with the tenderloin, I trimmed it pretty good when I was in Alberta, but it does need a little more fine-tuned trimming. Typically on like a beef one, it'll taper off fairly drastically. A lot of people say to cut it to where, you know, it's about a uniform shape, but this one doesn't taper off too terribly bad, so I think I'm just gonna leave the major part of it, but it does still need a little bit more trimming. You see there's some silver skin on it and just a few areas to clean up, clean up on it. They're kind of hanging off loose like that. So what I'm gonna do now is just trim this up and get it ready for the next step. Okay, so I got it pretty well trimmed up. I didn't get too nitpicky with it. I think with this meat, I'll throw it in the ground or just maybe toss in the skillet and cook it up real quick. Now, when it comes to seasoning this thing, I'm just gonna use black pepper and then sea salt. Run a little, little low on the sea salt, but um, I usually put a pretty good dosing of salt over this. Then I'll set it on this pan and let it get up to room temperature while the smoker's warming up. Now typically I would have liked a little more coarse ground pepper, but we did not have any on hand and we're in the middle of the COVID-19 pandemic, so I'm not going to go to the grocery store to, to get some right now. So we'll just put a little more on it than maybe I normally would. So nice, nice heavy peppering, maybe add a little more salt to Maria's. I know another thing that people do is often tie up maybe some of these little loose ends of the tenderloin. You could trim it more, but like I said, I'm not gonna get real crazy on the trimming. So let's set that right here. It is a big piece of meat. I get this stuff cleaned up and then we'll go get the smoker ready. All right, so I got the smoker up to temperature. I'm using apple wood because it's all I have on hand right now. It's generally, generally my favorite for all meats. So I'm gonna take it out there. I got the meat thermometer already stuck in. So let's take it to the smoker. So let me slip the old Crocs on. You ain't Croc and you ain't rocking. Dodge all the writing apparatuses. All right, just a little, got cooled off a little bit. I'm gonna turn up just a hair. for this to get to 130 degrees. Okay, so the tenderloin has reached the desired temperature. I got it a little over 130, so that's fine. It'll still continue to cook uh, as I rest it. So what I'm gonna do is put the tenderloin on this pan, tint it in tin foil, let it rest for about 10 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna heat up the cast iron griddle that I have from Camp Chef on their three burner stove, get that nice and warm, and then I'm gonna sear the whole tenderloin in butter to put a nice little crust on the outside. All 
All right, so we got the tenderloin out here, about to ready to throw it on this Camp Chef big old griddle here. So I tilted it back because the way this is designed, it's um, gonna drip all forward here. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit, get a little warmer. Let this butter melt. And probably when it's cooking, I'll throw another slab on. And then uh, we'll sear this up. All right, so put that hot butter back on. And then it is tenderloin time. I'll probably keep it about 30 seconds or a minute. Go ahead and melt the butter on this side of it. There ain't nothing wrong with a lot of butter. I think this is, we're gonna call it good on this. Got a nice little crust on all of it. I rotated it around a little bit. It should come out as a nice cooked medium piece, maybe on a little more of the medium rare side. But I think that'll be just fine. So it's cooked in butter. I'm gonna get that side just a little bit longer, then we'll take it inside and eat it. All right, so we got the moose inside. I've already sampled a couple pieces. We're gonna have our main tester, OTTO, try, try a bite. I don't know if it's going to be good or bad. Alright, take a bite, buddy. Oh, wow, that's real good. You like that? Should I go moose hunting every year? Yeah, I think so, too. Alright, well, we're going to cut this up and eat it. Thanks for watching. I'll put a link to the products that I use to cook this moose tenderloin in the description below. If you have any tips, tactics, or other ways that you smoke a tenderloin, I'd love to hear it. Make sure to please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.